Your code sucks. No, it doesn't because you are amazing, but your code might be running a lot slower than you desire. So today we're gonna talk about the top five things I have seen that's making your code run slow. Now, really quick, some of these things that we're talking about are very specific to Python and you might not be using Python. In fact, why don't you let me know in the comments below what your favorite programming language is and why you prefer it. But let's get into these top five things that can help make your code faster. Starting with number five, creating lists with for loops instead of a list comprehension. Yeah, and I know what you're thinking. List comprehensions do use a for loop inside of them, but take a look at this code here. We have a for loop and a pending every single time, and a list comprehension is not only easier to read faster and in one single line, but it's a lot faster. Take a look at this. Boom! Look how much time you saved and think of all that time accumulated together if you're running an entire big program. Reason number four can be applied to any programming language and that's when you accidentally leave something inside of a for loop that doesn't need to be inside of a for loop. Yeah, this is gonna slow down your code. Take a look at this code here. This is running the same exact sequence using the same random arrays. One has the list comprehension inside of the for loop and the other doesn't, and it doesn't have to be in there. So guess what? You pop that sucker out and let's run and see the speed test. Boom, that is way faster and can really help speed up your code. Reason number three, incorrectly choosing between lists and sets. Sets, for the most part, are gonna be a lot faster. Why? Because they're not ordered, so adding and removing from them will be way faster. Here's the deal though, you gotta know when you can use the set versus the list. In some circumstances, you just can't get out of the list. But, let me show you here, when it comes to adding and removing, a set will always be faster. Check out this code right here, that's gonna show you adding and removing Tons of different times versus a set and a list, and wow, the set is much faster. Reason number two, not using the built-in math functions of NumPy. So for this example, let's look at taking a giant array, raising it to the one half power, which is the same as taking the square root. Now what's gonna be faster? Array star star 0.5 or np dot square root Array. I don't think you even have to guess here because NumPy is amazing. It runs in C in the background, which is a lot faster than Python. So there's no comparison here. You run these both side by side and np.squareRoot is gonna take the square root of every single element inside your array much faster than doing star star 0.5. And that ties in directly into number one not using array broadcasting. This is slowing down your code because array broadcasting is one of the main reasons why Python is amazing. Look, you can do an array multiplication without using NumPy. Don't know why you would. That's what I have going on here. You got the for loop. You got another for loop. You're lining these things up and you're trying to broadcast them together so that you're only doing the inner part. Well, guess what? Just broadcast it and use NumPy's built-in capabilities. You can take inside by broadcasting just the middle part of your matrix A and then just taking the middle part of matrix B and slap them together and so much faster. Not to mention all of the if statements and for loops that you could have been doing. Not only are you wasting time, but your code is gonna be so much slower because it's not able to run with the backend on C. So there you have it. Those are the top five things that I have seen programmers use that are slowing down their code. What have you seen that is slowing down your code? I'm curious to know. Comment below what you have figured out is slowing down your code. I would love to know because it's always awesome to make your code run fast. Thanks for watching and please check out some of my other Python videos and please consider subscribing for more Python content.